Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to sort out this radical equation and solve for x. If you'd like to give this a go yourself, pause the video now. Otherwise, I will continue. OK, when we get the square root of a term divided by the square root of another term, we can rewrite that fraction inside a single large square root sign. And on the right hand side, I'm going to rewrite this as 16 to the power of 3 multiplied by 1 quarter. And now to get rid of the square root sign, I'm going to square this side. And I'm also going to square this side. On the left hand side, the square root sign and the square cancel each other out. So we're just left with x squared minus 25 divided by x plus 5. And on the right hand side, well, here I'm going to refer to this rule that says if we've got a number raised to a power and that's all raised to another power, then we can rewrite that as the same number raised to those powers multiplied together. It also doesn't matter what order we write those powers in, which means, of course, we can rewrite this as that number raised to the second power or raised to the first power. So that means here on the right hand side, I can write these powers how I like. I could write it as three times a quarter times two. If I wanted to, I could change their order, or I could write this as 16 to the power of 3, to the power of a quarter, to the power of 2. I just need to abide by this rule. OK, so let's continue. On the left hand side we have x squared less, and I'm going to rewrite this as 5 squared, divided by x plus 5. And on the right hand side, I'm going to write this as 16 to the power of a quarter, all raised to the power of 2 multiplied by 3. Notice here that I've changed the order and I've put a quarter first. And here I've multiplied the powers together, which this here allows me to do. OK, now look here at the numerator. What does this remind you of? Well, it's actually the difference between two squares. And that means that we can utilise this rule, which states that if we multiply a plus b by a minus b, is what happens is we get a squared, then the BA and the negative AB cancel each other out. So we're just left with the final negative B squared. And you'll notice that this is the difference between two squared numbers. And that means whenever we see the difference between two squares, we can rewrite it in this form. Therefore, x squared minus 5 squared becomes x plus 5 multiplied by x minus 5. And we still have x plus 5 on the bottom. And on the right hand side, I'm going to evaluate 16 to the power of a quarter which is the same as 16 to the fourth root, which is simply 2. So we have 2 to the power of 2 times 3, which is 6. Now on the left hand side, we can do some cancelling. The x plus 5 and the x plus 5 cancel. So we're just left with x minus 5 
equals 2 to the 6, which is 64. Therefore, x equals 64 plus 5, which is 69. And that is our answer. Did you get it? There was really two different things going on in this question. On the left hand side, we had to remove the square root. And we then had to notice that this was a difference between two squares. And on the right hand side, we had lots of powers. So you had to be confident in using this power rule. Hope you got it. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos and hopefully I'll see you again later. Bye.